Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. I'm Exquisite Beauty MUA here on YouTube and today we're going to be doing the April BoxyCharm review and to see what's inside, see how we like everything and what my thoughts are going to be on each product. So for the first thing that comes in the box will always be the little card that indicates what the theme is for the month, the products and what they retail for. So for this month, it's going to be the eye candy theme. And the first product that I used was actually in the shower. This was the Dr. Brandt Pores Nor More Vacuum Cleaner. This is a pore purifying mask. And that is this guy right here. Now this guy had little particles inside of the cream base. These particles are going to help exfoliate your skin, minimize the pores in your face. And this is basically what it looks like. It's a creamy consistency and you can see the particles inside. Now this had a burning but cooling sensation on the skin and I'm not a fan of that too much. So I'm gonna keep trying it out, see how I really like it. I'll try it out for a few weeks. And my areas of concern are going to be right under my eyes, up towards my cheeks. Usually where you tend to highlight, I find a lot of pores or texture, but this product is gonna be mainly for your pores. And this guy is retailing for $47. So that is a very good price considering what we're getting the BoxyCharm for, and that way we're actually trying out something new. Well, at least I am anyway, because I've never really gotten any Dr. Brandt products before. The next product is going to be the Brow Gel. This is an instanted tinted brow gel. And this basically has little microfibers that help achieve a natural hair look. And this is supposed to be a quick and a natural method to help fill in your brows. I really like this concept because sometimes I won't have the time to sit there and do my eyebrows, although I have developed a method where I can do it very quickly. But we are going to try this out and see how we like it. This is in the color Light Hair 03. filled it up a little bit and it did pretty good. When I'm looking at it now, I can see that it's a little light for me. Really didn't like the color because it was very light for my skin and for my eyebrows. When I actually put it into my eyebrows, it looked like I had white hairs and we're just not there yet. So the Tinted Brow Gal actually retails for $22. So I actually removed the Brow Gal Tinted Eyebrow Gel just because it wasn't my color. So what I'm going to be doing is my eyebrows and my face off camera. That way we could use the next few products that we have left in the BoxyCharm. So I will be right back. Okay, so I finished my eyebrows and the rest of my face makeup and let's actually move right along into the next product in the April's BoxyCharm. It's going to be the ColourPop Element of Surprise Eyeshadow Palette. Now this one retails for $16 and that is this one right here. And this is the back of it. It has all of the names of the eyeshadows in the back and I am going to be doing a swatch on my arm that way I can show you how beautiful the colors just look. So here are the colors from the palette and I couldn't fit all of them on my arm so I actually put the other ones on my hand. They are beautiful colors especially that one it's like an iridescent purple pink color and this one as well, it almost has blue-green iridescence to it too. These are just beautiful colors, especially now for spring. And next, I'm going to be showing you on the inside of the palette what they actually look like. So another item that they sent us in the BoxyCharm for the month of April are the SL Miss Glam Brush Duo. And they are these guys right here. They are so cute. They're in pink and purple. A blending brush and a packing brush. It retails for $16. So we're going to use these brushes along with the ColourPop palette. Don't know yet what I'm going to create, but as I'm doing the eye look, I am going to be pointing out which eyeshadows I'm going to use 
and I'll probably just move a little bit quicker and I will give you my final thoughts once I'm done with everything. So I'm just gonna be bringing you in a little bit closer, that way I can show you what I'm gonna be doing. So I'm gonna be starting off with that purple brush that I just showed you. I like the way it really turned out. It's really, really vibrant, spring-like. So I'm just gonna be finishing off by using Tempera in the Modern Renaissance palette because that is just my go-to color to highlight my brow bone area. So I'm just going to be finishing on by putting some eyeliner. I'm just going to be using a black eyeliner by Smashbox. It's in the color Raven. And I am going to be putting on some mascara. I'm going to use the Tarte's Lights Camera and Lashes Mascara. I'll be right back. Here I have the finished look using the ColourPop palette. And the just worked out really good. They blended out nicely. They were very smooth and soft. And I don't know if I mentioned it to you, but the dual brush set, that one retails for $38.50. So you definitely get an awesome price when you pay $21 for the BoxyCharm. I absolutely love it. You get to try out new products. The last one that I have here is a MAC lipstick. This one is in the color Lip City and it says Burnt Violet. So I'm going to try it out. I don't know if I'm really going to like how it looks with this makeup look, but I'm going to try it anyway just to kind of see how it turns out. So 
So it retails for $21. It's a beautiful color. I just don't think that it looks good with the look that I have right now. So I'm going to take this one off actually and I'm going to put on something that goes a little bit better with this look. So I will be right back. Okay, so I threw on a nude type of lipstick. I used the ColourPop Lippy Sticks and this one is in Parker. And I absolutely love the way this looks. Very spring-like. And my overall thoughts about the box for this month, for last month, for April. I love the palette. I I loved the brushes. The brow product was a little bit light for me. I wish it would have been a little bit darker. That way I really could have tested it out, see how I liked it. But it did fill in my brows. If it had been a little bit darker, I think it would have looked a lot better. The lipstick is stunning. I love these dark colors. I think maybe for like a night look, that would look beautiful. And the mask, I'm going to keep trying that out. I did see a little bit minimizing in my pores in this area right here. But I'm going to keep trying it out because I really didn't like that cooling sensation that's the great thing about these boxes is that you can try it out see what you like and what you want to repurchase or maybe try something else from that same brand so that's it guys i hope to see you on the next one and remember always be grateful and always be thankful and see you on the next one bye